Hi everybody, welcome back to RPL Youth Service YouTube channel or IGTV. I really hope that you had an enjoying school so far and had a good time with your teachers and friends. So today we're coming back with you with another fun project, science experiment, but today we're involving art with science because we're going to make these flute pan. So it's like a musical instrument. How many of you have played instrument at school? Like uh, guitar, violin, piano, organ, etc. So this is actually really fun and easy to make because um, we can blow it out and then see how it works. So this is such an ex it's an example. Like you saw, you blow it out like this. Isn't that sounds cool? All you need is first, of course, a scissor, ruler. Ruler is very important because without this, we cannot make, we cannot measure like uh, how long the straw is and how long the construction paper is. So I have a black sharpie, but if you don't have black sharpie, you can use any other color. It's up to you. Pencils. Uh, crayon and markers are optional if you don't have one that's okay or if you have one of the other that's also okay and then you need five plastic straw or paper straw it's up to you I have this thin one but if you have the thicker one if you're drinking like a boba or a jelly they have like a thicker diameter of straw then you can use them too and we're going to work with our construction paper So what we're going to do with our construction paper is making a trim strip like this. It's measure seven inches times one and a half inches. So you might, you might take your ruler and a pencil, okay? And then you measure, say here, seven inches like so. And then you put a mark in there and then make a line and put another line on the width side, like so, okay? Okay, so you need to from the back side. And then take your scissors and cut it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put aside our construction paper and we'll take our straw. There's five of them. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our roller, okay? And then we're going to measure it. The first one is supposed to be six inches. But it doesn't need to be six inches. If you want seven inches like that, that's also fine. But for this example, I'm just going to put six inches like that. Okay? Take your scissors, cut it. Okay, your first straw is done. And the second straw, you will want to put 5.5 inches. See? So 5.5 inches here so you can see 5.5 is between 5 and 6 so I want to measure it 5.5 inches and then you cut it like that okay your second straw is done so now you have two of them okay so you see there's like a difference in there one is 6 inches and the other one the second one is 5.5 inches and then you take the third straw. The third straw is going to be four inches. So as we go along, and then it will be decrease the length of the straw. Okay, so the third one going to be four inches. Okay, so we have the third one like that. And then the fourth one, it's going to be three and a half inches. So three and a half inches is between three and four inches okay so like so take your scissors and then you should have three and a half inches like that and the fifth one it's going to be the shortest one okay so it's going to be three inches so and then you cut it on the line like that if it's hard for you, you can take a marker and then you can put a line in there so you know where to cut it like that. Okay? So that's just an example. So you have one, two, three, four, five straw. Okay? Okay, the next thing you want to do is this is really up to you. You don't have to, but you can label them number. So this is number one, number two, three, four. 
and five. But you don't have to number it if you don't like to. This is just an example. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to take our two strip, the one that we made before, and then we're going to decorate it. Um, it's up to you what you want to decorate it. I have these musical notes, like so, and this is just plain black, but you can decorate it however you want. We'll take a purple color like that. It's not musical notes, like your name or whatever. It's really up to you, okay? It's just an example. The next thing is, we're going to take a tape. If you have double-sided tape, it's okay works too but if you don't have double sided tape we're going to take a tape and then we're just going to make a bubble like so and then stick it five of them and five like that and then we're going to put the first straw correspond with the first one so we're going to put it in here so you see I didn't put it all the way towards the end. I have three four quarter length after the strip. So that's how you want to do it. So the air will travel along the straws. Okay, so the first one, the second one, that, and then the third one, like so, fourth one, and then the tiniest one, the fifth one, like that. So you should have all five straw lining up together like that with corresponding the length, okay? Now you're done with the first strip, so now you are wondering, like, what are we going to do with the next one? So we're going to put another tape on the top of the straw. Five of them now, all covered with tape. Okay, so this is where the top strip is going to go, like that. So you should have a color for musical notes with color for straw, okay? So this is what I meant with the worksheet here. So if you, the higher note is the shorter straw and then the lower note will, will have the longer straw. So correspond with one, two, three, four, five. So you can make a song title in here, whatever the song title you would like to name it. And then you can put, say, five, four, three, two, one, or five, one, two, three, four, five. It's really up to you. So then, this is a disclaimer. Do not share with your friends or your siblings. Uh, make it your own because you're going to blow some of the air to the straw. So that we test it out. So that's just an example. But that's why I said you can create a song however you like and then put a correspond number onto the boxes here. This, the science behind this, this is not the flute that works in here, but the air in the straw that make it vibrates, that's how the notes come from, okay? So I hope you're having fun making this experiment. If you have any question, please let us know down below. Uh, post it on our, our IGTV or in our YouTube channel to see what your concern, or if you decide to make one, please let us know too. Until next time, I hope you have a good week, and I hope you have a good weekend.